Let's look at some examples for a hot water tank calculation. We have number one is a 3000 watt hot water tank. Now these are dual element hot water tanks, but they have a flip flop switch. It means that each element is 3000 watts, but they never can come on at the same time. So when we're calculating our wire and breaker size, we use just the, the wattage of one element. 3000 watts divided by 240 volts equals 12.5 amps. That is going to be our minimum wire size so that our ampacity of our wire is not less than our load. Then, because our breaker has to be 125% larger than the ampacity of our load, we take 12.5, multiply it by 1.25. This gives us 15.63 amps, and that gives us our minimum breaker size. So we pick a 20 amp breaker and a 14.2 Lumex when we're using copper. It's a double pull breaker because of the 240 volts and our Lumex, if we go to table two, we'll see that it's good for 20 amps in the 75 degree column. And we only needed 12.5 amps to cover this load. Now, one thing to check is that both the, that the equipment is actually rated for um, 75 degrees at the terminations. Example number two was a 4,500 watt hot water tank and divided again by 240 volts. It gave us 18.75. That will be the minimum opacity of our wire size. Down here, I picked a 14.2 Lumex copper because in table two tells us again that it's 20 amps in the 75 degree column, which is enough to cover our load. Remember, our opacity of the wire always has to be at least as big as a load. Then to find the breaker, I take the 18.75 times 125% gives me a 23.44 amp minimum breaker size. So I picked a 25 amp breaker. This comes from table 13, by the way. The table 13 is our guide as to what the standard size breakers are. If you cannot get a 25 amp breaker in the particular brand that your panel is, then you could go to a 30 amp breaker. Again, this is a double pull breaker because of the 240 volts. Our third example is a 550, sorry, 5,500 watt hot water tank divided by 240 again gives me 22.9 amps. That's going to be the minimum wire opacity. And if I go to table two, I choose a 12.2. It's good for 25 amps, which is at least as big and it's bigger than what I need to cover my load. And then I take that 22.9 times 1.25 gives me a minimum ampacity for the breaker of 28.64. So I'm going to pick a 30 amp breaker and a 12-2 wire. Notice that in all of these, um, in these last two cases, we have a breaker that's larger, rated for higher than the ampacity of the wire. And that's fine according to the rules that we saw in the previous video.